Can someone tell me what our four steps are? Define a variable. Define a variable. Find an equation. Find an equation. Solve and write your solution. Oh, no, good. Solve and then write your sentence. The guy just wrote it right there for crying out loud. Okay? So make sure you follow those four steps when the directions ask you for it, okay? All right, so Allison is making a stained glass window. Okay? Her pattern requires that one fifth of the glass should be blue. She has 288 square inches of blue glass. If she intends to use all of her blue glass, how much glass will she need for the entire project? So let's start with what are we looking for? Glass. Oh, how be careful glass. though. How much glass you'll need? Yeah, for just glass, right? Not blue glass, but we need the total amount of glass. Okay? So let's put G and we'll call it total glass or total amount of glass. Okay. So what are we doing? Um, 28 uh, times uh, uh, 288 times uh, one fifth. Okay. I don't know. One fifth. Okay, let's think about this for a second. It says that she has 288 of blue. So should my answer be more than 288 or less than 288? You lost it. Huh? You lost it. Oh. Okay, so should my answer be more than 288 or less than 288? Less. Okay, are you sure? If you've got 288 oh, no, of more. just blue, more. okay, so if 288 equals blue, our total had better be higher, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so now if we take 288, which was what was over here, times one fifth, isn't that the same thing as just taking 288 over 5? Yeah. Is that going to get you a higher total? No. No. So I know without doing a whole lot of work here, I don't need to answer, I know that this can't quite be right. Okay? So now when I'm looking at this, okay, I want you to kind of focus in, and I can't put it on the screen, so you're just going to have to kind of look here. Look on line 2, and you're going to need to mark this. Find where it says 1 fifth of the glass. You guys see that? Okay, highlight it. Mark it. One fifth of the glass. Now, what does of mean? Equal. Means to multiply, right? So of means to multiply. Alright, so let's think about this for a second. If my original equation, our variable, we said G was for total glass, one fifth of glass. One fifth G. I mean it's right there in the wording. It's telling you exactly what to do. Okay? And so when I do that, that's one-fifth of my total should be 288. Okay, so now what are we going to do? How are we going to solve this? Okay, Nick, how are we going to solve this? Sit up for me, please. How are we going to solve this problem? What are we going to do? Times Good. Multiply by 5 over 1, so those cancel. And 5 over 1. So in reality, it doesn't matter if the one's down there or not, we need to take 288 times 5. That makes sense? Okay, so what is 8 times 5? 40. 40, so carry your 4. 8 times 5 plus 4? 44. Good, 44, carry your 4. 2 times 5 plus 4? 14. 14. So my glass total is 1440. All right, so now let's write a sentence. What does this mean? Alex? After we're done with notes again. Okay, what does this mean? The total amount of glasses, 1,440. Okay, she, she what? Need, um, the total amount of glass is 1,440 what? What's our label? Look back at your other numbers. Glass. No, look at, at your other numbers. What? What are you going to label this as? Look at the 288. What's square, square inches. inches. Square inches. You see what I'm saying there? Yes. All right. So that would be your sentence. Okay. All right, does anybody have a question on those four steps? Okay. 